back for another video but first let's start this video off with a prayer and today's prayer is dear god you have wonderfully created me and i thank you for that i am more than enough in your eyes prevent me from comparing myself to others do not let social media or society standards intrude my thoughts and lower my self-esteem I rebuke any negative thoughts out of my life. There isn't no there isn't no comparison because you are all unique. Nobody can be me and I can't be nobody else. Teach me how to appreciate and accept myself for who I am. Today I let go of the comparing and bad thoughts about myself and I invite and I invite in confidence and security. Bless me with clarity so that I can see myself the way that you see me. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. So I pray that prayer blesses you guys today. Today is two, no, Wednesday. <laughs> today is Wednesday. Welcome if you're new and welcome back if you're one of my returning subscribers. Y'all, the sun is shining. It is shining and it's putting me in a good mood. But I'm, okay, so I'm in a good mood more like 90% of the time. But I'm not gonna lie, that winter blues was kicking my tail, okay? But as soon as the sun st started shining, cause it was raining a lot and it's about to keep on raining. Yesterday it was shining. My kitchen was orange and glowy. I went to the gym. I was just feeling good. And then today I got my workout in early this morning, got myself up and ready. And we're gonna go thrifting. We may find something, we may not, but at least we got out of the house, right? But I'm telling you, just having a little sunshine, 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 sunshine. <laughs> And that word always gets me. But having a little sunshine and just, you know, it makes a huge difference. The temperatures are starting to warm up. It's kind of chilly in the morning, but they're starting to warm up now, y'all. Like by the middle of the day, by two o'clock, it's like 74 degrees here. So that's good, but because it's about to be spring this week. When you guys watch this video, video it's already spring or about to be spring. Um, we could definitely see a difference so yeah so let's get out the house i have a costco order coming in in maybe an hour and a half two hours just i needed to order some fruit um we don't have any fruit in this house and that's a problem because john eats a lot of fruit and so do the kids and i do as well but i can only eat but so much so um let's get out the house see what we can find maybe stop by Lowe's and just look at some plants i'm just gonna look at them for now <laughs> Let's go, y'all. Y'all, this this pollen is out of hand. Y'all see my car? This is crazy. You guys, tell me why they have the native body wash here for ten dollars. You can get it for ten dollars. Almost well, eleven ninety nine at Target. That's crazy.
with y'all. So I did not find anything at the Salvation Army. I'm about to stop by Lowe's. I'm excited about it. Let's see what we can find. but who is she and what is her name she's so pretty who is this exotic exotic angel from Costa farms twister lipstick plant twister lipstick plant what hang up and save space well this is not a cute pot though a uh, bright oh she wants a lot of sun keep above 50 degrees which is that's easy to do but is she a sun plant i can assume she is she looks like a succulent no, nah, that means I'm gonna kill her. This one too, this one's gorgeous. And look at this one, you guys. Oh my gosh, highlights. Yeah, I don't have that. I only got two windows in the downstairs. Well, at least in the living room and the kitchen. Medium light, that's pretty too. <gasps> Y'all, look at this one. Girl, what's your name? Okay, hold on, let's see. She doesn't have a tag, all right now. Okay, I know for sure this is the one that Shanti got in her house, for sure, by the looks of it. And she dying. Oh my God, look at this. Oh, I'm so happy, you guys, because Lowe's finally got some new plants. Oh, but do I need another one? Look, this is one of those lime green um, pothos, like the big mama in the living room. Oh, she's so pretty. And look at this. Oh. Y'all, look at these pots. They're so pretty. They are definitely more expensive here at Lowe's, but oh, so pretty. Now, this like color scheme is definitely my style. Look at the smaller one. And then there's this one. Oh, I love this one. This one and that one. I love them both. I like this one too. If it was like cream, even better, but I really like that one. I really like this plant too. How much is this? I can't really tell and I don't want to pick it up with one hand. All right, y'all, so I just got a notification that they're, they just checked out at Costco and they're gonna um, bring my fruits. So I'm going to head home. Um, I desperately need to go to the, through the car wash. Even though I know it's gonna get pollen all over the car again, but we do pay for the monthly service of unlimited car wash so I might as well take advantage of it even if I wash my car every single day I haven't done it in like a week and it shows <laughs> I was able to get today the only thing that I liked for me to get today and this was $3.99 it's like a candy um jar I think candy and little stuff is what goes in here I thought this was so pretty especially the handle right there 
It has a little tape. Take that off. That was cute. I can either put it in my hush or put candy in there. So for $3.99, I thought that was not bad at all. Sometimes when you go thrifty, you may find some stuff. Sometimes you may not. So you just don't know unless you go there. Sometimes some stuff, you can look at the color of some of the items that, let's say if you like it, but only if it was this color. You can't look at that because you can easily rectify that with some spray paint. So you have everything has potential if you have a vision. You get what I'm saying? So if it was a certain vase that was green and you don't decorate with green, you like a lighter color, spray paint will easily fix that. Same thing with the lamp. The one in my, my lamp in my living room, that comes from the Goodwill. Um, I spray painted that champagne gold. So that's what I've done with a few things. Sometimes I just, I don't need it. I don't buy stuff if I don't need it. So um, I'm happy with my little purchase. Shoo, this is cute. I'm gonna clean it because I feel like this could be more gold. And I have rub and buff. Oh, look at how the vision's coming through. I know I got some rub and buff. I could put some more, uh, make it look more like a bronze gold. But it is 11.26 and I am hungry. I have not eaten breakfast. All I had was liquids today. So I'm going to eat lunch and, and then I'm going to get some cleaning done because I left the house and didn't really do much besides make my bed. So I will take you guys along with whatever I got going on. Alright y'all, so my Costco order just came in. It's not a lot of stuff. And in the instant card, they say if I order $50 worth of stuff from Costco, I get $20 off in my order, which, you know, fruit can easily add up. I got two things of pineapples. My Everyone here loves pineapples. Where's this from though? It's from Costa Rica. I picked a peak brightness. Sweet and ready to eat. So, um... I'm going to give it a few days before I cut into this because, yeah, it's kind of hard. I could just tell it's not ready yet. I got two things of bananas. I got some bananas over there, but they they want banana bread. They think they slick. They want some banana bread. I'm going to get these out. And, yeah, so I'm going to be making some banana bread soon for the kids. All for the kids. Okay. I got some bananas. Let's move this up to the side. Let's move it to the side. Some apples. These are honey crisp apples. To me, the honey crisp apples out of all apples are the most delicious. So I got those. I got some fresh plums. I got some plums. That's why I like this time of year because the fruit is starting to get better. The winter time, not so much, but now the fruit, I can tell, is doing better. We always gotta have avocado. Oh, hold on. Make sure I don't feel no mushiness. Okay, they're good. I got some avocados. Always get the avocados. Okay, some grapes, some gra grapes, strawberries. So I'm gonna wash these two. And then these, I'm not gonna wash them. They're gonna have to wash it themselves because um, I'm gonna put them on the bowl. I don't like to wash them and then put them in the bowl because the dust and stuff still gets on it. It still has to be washed. So I just, when you grab it, you wash it, that's it. And I got this chicken for me to try. The kids have their own chicken. But I wanted to try this one. This one's no antibiotics ever. 23 grams of protein, three grams of um, total carbs. I saw this on TikTok when a lady was doing like this tortillas for lunch that she was eating and she said it was very good. So I, we have track, a track meet tonight with Devin and I always bring some sort of food and stuff for us. So I think that's what I'll bring for myself for my dinner tonight. But I cooked yesterday and there's leftovers so the kids are good as far as that goes. So I'm going to put this in the freezer. Yeah. I'm going to put this in the freezer and be good to go.
guys, what are going to be your plans for Easter? What are you guys doing? Well, on Easter, we go to church and that's actually on Easter is the time when we see the most people at church, to be honest with you. But um, I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to cook and how I'm going to do that because I'm looking at the calendar. I'm trying to figure out if those are the days I serve. Hold on, you guys. I'm going to do it right here with you guys. So I serve this weekend. Serve. Okay, so I serve in the nursery on Easter. So I'll be there in the nursery, which means I'm going to be at church early. My family and I are going to be at church early. And then we go to service and then we go home. So I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to make for Easter. I'm thinking I might have to cook the day before or prep most of the stuff the day before. And then all I have to do the day of is put things in the oven or just make it super easy before I leave, put, put it in the oven or something like that. I'm trying to figure out the menu of what I'm going to go for Easter, but I love Easter. I definitely look forward to it. Um, soon my small group and I are going to do like this big Easter egg hunt at this park here. So Destiny and her, I'm bringing her friend with her too. Uh, they're going Easter egg hunting. It's still, you know, at that age group. But the boys, not so much. Which, I mean, I, of course, they're teenagers. They're not interested at all. Starting off with the strawberries and grapes. Very easy. I'm gonna put the fruit in here, but one thing I add to the water is some baking soda. Clean the fruit. I don't add a lot to it. This is a quarter cup measuring, and I just don't even do the whole thing either. That's pretty good. I got the tip from my friend Shanti. It washes the, uh, the berries a lot better. I still use vinegar, but I'm in a quick hurry, but baking soda, for sure. All right. So all of them look good. I'm gonna let that soak in there for a little bit. y'all so the fruit is restocked just like i like it um i recently got this zevo so i know so many people have had it i'm late to the game i understand but i am really liking it so far since the weather has been changing and the fruit is all here i needed something like this um so i'm gonna have to get refills i have an extra one i'm gonna put that in the living room soon but i am liking it so far y'all so Ooh, I love when my fruit is restyled. That's how I know the weather is changing, y'all. So I'm thinking the next video might be a deeper clean of the kitchen. Don't hold me to it, though. I think so, because I was loading the dishwasher and I could see all the dirtiness on the sides, on the inside and stuff. So it definitely needs a deep clean. Luckily, this time I don't have to clean my oven because it's still clean. My mom cleaned it before she left. Um, so that's a big, big, big help to me. 
yeah i think that's what i might do is a deeper clean of the oven maybe some other places luckily this year normally by spring season i wipe down the cabinets and stuff that's something else i don't have to do this year so the deep clean of the kitchen is not going to be that in depth like i normally do it because a lot of it um was already done by my sweet mother i'm telling you she's such an amazing lady the only thing i do also I have to clean the vent that's under the microwave it needs to be cleaned so that has to be cleaned out you know when you cook you gotta clean that filter that's in there the vent stuff so there's that so i just try to take mental notes of the things that i have to do y'all but that sun is shining i am so happy about that the only thing that's messing it up is the pollen but we need pollen for there to be flowers and trees and stuff so we gotta and there's a lot of bees out too so you gotta be careful <laughs> But oh, it's so nice and sunny. Soon we will be doing the backyard, y'all. Yep, soon we'll be. Look, speaking of a bee, there's a whole wasp right outside the window looking at me vlog. Um, but soon we'll be working on the backyard. I'm excited about that. I think I want to go to, not today, Hobby Lobby and go to like their spring outdoor section just so I can look at different decor they have for out there. That would be pretty cool. And then when I went to Lowe's, some of the flowers I showed you guys, they have some beautiful, beautiful flowers out there that might be adding and incorporating in the backyard. So I'm looking forward to that, y'all. All right, y'all. So I wanted to show you the lumbar pillows that I have for here. Remember when I was um, decorating the, well, the small decor in the living room i didn't like the pillow that was on there but i was talking to my friend shanti and she recommended a lumbar pillow so we came up with this and then we got i got the uh the actual pillow itself this is a pillow cover so with the seasons whatever i'm doing i could just change the pillow cover it's like 10 to 12 dollars on amazon so there's that i told you guys that i was going to sorry i can't help myself i was going to show you guys how that ended up being i need to wash these blankets but i don't have time today Move this table and one thing i do need to do is vacuum because there's a lot of dirt and stuff here but um yeah i like this so much better so 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 much better and they're cute i just didn't like the way it was looking before but this is i really love making this flower arrangement i had this flower arrangement and on the kitchen table last year for summer so i just wanted like a pop of color here in the uh half bathroom let's see how that looks is it too many of these it might be let me see get a few of them out to see how it looks to just be just white flowers in here you know let's see that looks okay i don't know if it's too big i think it's fine no one messes with this corner anyway but because let me do like this 
with the yellow more towards the front instead of being by the towel. It's going to have to be good for now. There's another yellow one here on the side. Hold on, let me get it out because you can't really see it. I have like a pot of greenery here in the bathroom. All right. Let me fix all this. I'm always messing with something. <laughs> okay. Let me fix this and then I'll show you. This is the progress. We already got, uh, done. The ceiling is already done. It is drying. They waiting and they ready to start the the other part of the wall. Let me show you. They ready to start the other side of the wall. See, start from here. They have to make a big hole all the way over there to the street. I can't go over there. It's a lot of, it's very dangerous right now. Let me see if I can. They're gonna make a wall and a hole, big hole on the wall, on the bottom. See, a lot of trees, my trees from the walls, they're gone. They're gonna disappear. Is everything gonna disappear? See, you see my my pine tree now. You can see better my pine my pine tree. It was a baby. Look at look at this. Really really high. Yeah. But I'm gonna show you later the next progress. Right now is they the uh. Como se dice? They arrancando todo. They to make a wall. Break the, the old wall to make a new one. But I'm going to show you later. This way you can understand better. They're going to make a big hole right there. Yeah. And that's it for now. I can show you something else later. Yeah. R right now it's still mess. They're going to fix the air conditioning. Because I told you, re remember before? They fix in one part and something else going on. They're going to fix it, trying to fix it today. Guess what's going on? Look at your uncle. El viejo aquí está. Mira el pinche viejo. Hola. Estamos fajados, Yesenia. Ahora mismo no hay ni cabeza para nada. Pedro está limpiando. He's cleaning the... The, ¿cómo se llama la marquesina? La terraza, qué sé yo. Fixing, cleaning, picking up everything. Sí. Mira, look. You can see all already, already, all the way down. Está por aquí adentro, mira, ahora mismo. This is what's going on. There's no way I can go closer. See, it's all the way over there until over there. Yeah. This is for now, just for now. So many things going on and I'm really busy in cooking for giving some food and, and water and so many things going on. I'll see. I'll talk to you later, guys. Hi. All right, y'all. So the fruit is rinsed off and clean. I have strawberries in these two containers. I'll probably take one with me later for John and I for track me. So the second part of my day, busy part of my day, is getting ready to start. I'm about to go pick Destiny up from school. I hope y'all enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, y'all. Mm -hmm.